Here, the power of the flames, all hail the Queen of Fire, welcome to another video. Before I get into what I'm going to do, because this is an incredibly special moment, be sure to watch the whole video, be sure to burn that like button, destroy the subscribe button, uh, burn the notification bell, or light the notification bell, I don't know why I did that, um, uh, I think it's just going to something, I don't know. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, uh, Burning Buzz, uh, uh, yeah. That was loud. <laughs> Formula GT cars. I'm just gonna get into this. Also, be sure to check out all my other YouTube videos. Be sure to check out Blue Vivacities and Sonic Central's YouTube channels. Uh, links are in the description. And uh, destroy the subscribe button. I forgot to mention that. What I am about to show you is history. I. Well. My first Gran Turismo 3 video is probably going to be the only one. Because this is a special moment that I never thought would happen, period. I did something that I never thought I could do. One hundred percent this game. Now, um... The car that I am in, my F094H, which is a Formula GT car. Well, let's just say that... It was probably... I didn't care about the last lap because that was the most precious lap. Because this race was the last race in my Gran Turismo 3 run through on this game. Or that makes sense. But it, my, my last lap, my r last race in Gran Turismo 3. The greatest final lap. Spun out. Just to celebrate the victory. And cried my eyes out. I legit cried. This isn't a joke. This is for real. I legit shed tears and almost made my friends cry. Because we were on Skype call when I beat this game. And he wanted and they wanted to stay to see me beat this game for the first time ever. So basically, Cote d'Azur meant everything to me. Absolutely everything. That race, not only would I say was the best race, well, I, I, I wouldn't consider my driving the best because it was actually pretty bad. It's probably best that you didn't see it because there was, it was not good. I was consistently spinning out at a specific hairpin and a sp oh, failing at a, cons uh, a specific chicane. And yeah, it's probably best I didn't record it because it, it was not good. It was not good, but actually, you know what? This game actually looks pretty good on video, not gonna lie. But not to get distracted by that. I overcame some of the, probably the hardest challenges in this app, in this game. Like, beating the S license. That last one, I got gold on my first try. Never thought I could beat the super license. I beat the IA license. Look at this, all silver. I B, all silver. A. All silver, except there's one gold. Gold, all silver. B license. Rally license, all silver. Super license, I didn't even care. I didn't even care. These two, I almost beat on my first try. It was by like, less than a tenth of a second, or just about a tenth of a second. Oh, I got a notification. But, um... Uh, yeah, I also want to let you know, do not join the Blaze Discord server. It will kill you, literally. Me and my best friend left the server because of a specific person, aka the owner, that caused too many problems to us. And we left it for several reasons. 
I'm not going to name the reasons. You'll just have to find out on Twitter because I will post reasons why me and my best friend left that server. But mainly the owner of the server was just completely downright rude. Don't follow him. Uh, but yeah, we made it through safely. He even blocked my best friend's account or blocked him on Discord. But you know what? Who cares? That that guy can go suck thousands of that that blank was a bad word, but because you know I don't want to say bad words on this channel unless if they're for exciting things like wow that's badass or something like that. that that that's the good thing. Cussing overall is not a thing I like to do on this channel. Period. Even though I tend to do it quite often. But yeah. Uh, I overcame some of the harder challenges. I mean, look at my final credit count, over 8 million. Almost 8.5 million. Beat the Amateur League. Very proud. This is something I never thought I could do. Beginner League is expected, as I should have. I mean, it's easy. Beginner League is Except this, because the game decides to give out vitzes that have, like, frickin' racing medium compound tires and, like, max horsepower. Anyway, oh yeah, endurances, um, yeah, I beat them all. It didn't take me long. There was one annoying one, and I don't remember which one it was. I think it was round 11. I don't know. But I'm gonna end it here, because I have accomplished an impossible thing. I also, there's arcade as well. I also beat all of that. And the time trials, I beat all of them. So I'm gonna end it here because somebody is certain somebody's up and making noises. I don't care, but uh, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to burn up that like button, light the notification bell on fire, destroy the subscribe button. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, BurningBuddies27. Be sure to uh, destroy the subscribe button. Check out Blue Vivacities and Sonic Central's YouTube. Their links are in the description. As always, as well as my Twitter. And be sure to go say hi to my best friend on Twitter. Um, he's in my following list and my followers list, so go check him out. He's really nice. Re he's told me that he will be my best friend till the end of time, which really means a lot to me. As I mentioned, I cried when I beat this game, legitimately. You could easily tell I almost made my best friends cry. It was the greatest thing, and by the way, I just want to say that this game was an absolute blast to play through. It, it's been about six or seven years since I last played this game, and it sure feels great to not only come back to play it, but beat it for the first time in my life. It feels absolutely great. I'm starting to tear up now because of this. But anyway... I want to thank my best friends for all of this. I couldn't have done it without them. They cherished this special moment with me. And it honestly has been the greatest moment of my life. Honestly. It just has been the greatest. Uh, now I gotta do it with GT4. I just got a couple more days. Just uh, less than a week actually before my first 24 hour race. So, hopefully that, those will be successful. I know they're going to be painful, but I can sure do it. And I'll try my best uh, anytime. So, with that, uh, uh, this is the Queen of Fire saying, catch you guys soon.